Hey there, Elder Kings 2, I'm Critzy. Welcome back. Yo, check out the absolute state of Morrowind over here. Well, what's going on, guys? Like, I was planning on antagonizing Morrowind, but it, it looks like... They're falling apart. Without any outside influence. I've, I've never seen this happen before. Morrowind is usually like the stable bastion of unchanging borders in my games. Um, but today, uh, they just want to fall apart. I mean, Vardenfell has almost completely been taken over by Ashlanders in service of Boethia. Uh, three out of five of the houses are nowhere to be seen. Uh, the, the Tribunal Temple is no longer in control of the Tribunal Temple, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, isn't, isn't Vivek the one who's holding that meteor up? Uh, what happens if he's not in the temple anymore? Hope you guys have that figured out. Um, but the Tribunal Temple's all over here now, in Necrom. And only in Necrom. Wait, nope, they got some territory down here near us as well. Which means we can pillage them. Yo! Wait a minute. Yo, they're ripe for pillaging. <laughs> Yo, nice. Let's just finish pillaging down here. Finish bullying Leowin. Oh no, my alliance with the Nagas has died. Uh, which, a kingophile. What is this guy's hat? It's got like a fisherman hat. A new face is wandering around my throne room, occasionally giggling and jumping up and down on the spot as he glances upon some artwork representing the Kuthringi ways. Who is he? Oh, he's, a, he's an imperial. <clears throat> I... Uh, something off about this visitor. And when he comes forth, it is evident that he's carrying a replica of my favorite sword. I cannot help but genuflect before you. I have devoted my life in Brittle Rock to appreciating the culture of the Kuthringi. I only speak in South Nedic, only eat fresh quail, and uh, only eat fresh Kuthringi quail. And I have studied the blade in Kuthringi fashion. My family have banned me from my home, claiming if I cannot do anything but obsess over the kingdom of Barasi, I should live there instead. This is flattering, if somewhat violating. How dare you copy my sword? Yeah, this is flattering. Thanks, buddy. That was it. That was all we had to worry about there. Alright, back to pillaging! Oh, we got somebody. We got a pillage officer in charge. We don't really need... Sorry, do you only have one knight? Oh, that's one acclaimed knight. Uh, we have time for another orphanage visit before we die of old age. In fact, we might have time for two before we get there, depending on how long Helidur lasts. He's depressed, though, but he does have Chrysomir. Yeah, let's go ahead and adopt a third child. Really confuse inheritance. Just make sure when I die, nobody knows what's happening with the kingdom. When I enter the orphanage, Murray C. the caretaker welcomes me visibly delighted and started talking about the children. Let's check them out. We got Drillic, an ambitious, pensive child. Andok, a teenager who is lazy, shy, and fickle. And then we've got Tonali, the hunchback. With a heart of gold. I don't see why not. She's got good stats, too. Alright. Suddenly I saw a small figure hidden behind some furniture staring at me. When I looked back, she averted her gaze. Oh, don't mind her. That's Tonali, our special resident. She lost her hopes of being adopted some time ago. I will take her. For I am the king of orphans. And we're getting a tech hug event again. <laughs> I'm taking my 46-year-old daughter home. 
This is great. It's everything I could have asked for. Are you sure you didn't make a mistake? I'm broken, you know. Never say that about yourself again, my daughter. Sorry. Do, do I have too many... Do I have too many wards right now? I do. Uh-oh. I have my grandson. Um... Vengeful, gregarious, patient. Uh... How old is she? Ten? Alright, well, she's gonna need a, a teacher before our grandson needs a teacher. So I'm gonna pin our grandson. <laughs> our half-elf little alien boy. <laughs> he looks so weird. Uh, uh, and, um... Take on my, my new adoptee. Do you have a tutor? We do not. And we have a good quality one, too. We've got an elf, our doctor, who's apparently a teacher as well. Cool, how's our rating doing? Looking good. Just come home after that one. And maybe we'll pillage, uh, maybe we'll pillage the tribunal. Yeah, does that sound fun? Sound pretty good to you? Pillage, 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 pillage. <clears throat> 86. 17 development as well. Oh, I don't really need more stewardship, but... Uh, yo, Vassal Levy contribution, thanks. How much did that help me? Haha, <laughs> not. <laughs> it didn't. Our army is real small, and I don't know what I'm mismanaging here. Like, I, I've, I've played tons of other games where I've had, like, the biggest army on the map. In fact, last game that I played on camera, I, I that was one of the situations where I had, like, the biggest army around. I don't know what's going on this time. I just can't, can't manage it. Can't get a big enough army for my, for my realm. Can't keep them safe. Maybe I'm just not making enough alliances, who knows. Sort by alliance power. Uh, a coral? Doesn't sound too bad. Oh, that's not too bad at all. That'll keep us safe for a little bit. For a little while. They have uh, 5,000 troops. My daughter, you have an important duty here. Abbot, horse enthusiast. Princess Tekka, yeah, you can ride my horse. Family can ride my horse. Random courtiers, no way. My daughter, you have an important duty. You must woo this, uh, this prince. Activity introduce you. Oh, yo, grand right? Absolutely. Who is this? My granddaughter. Wh what is going on with you? Oh, you're delicate. You're a, a delicate constitution. That's why you, I can see your cheekbones. All right, well, we'll go there. Don't need no, don't need no. All right, maybe you get a jungle expert. Cool. I can't wait. Going to the next grand right. I'm really worried about Elden Root's little enclave here, because at any point they could decide we're the next target. Here we are. My blind daughter, my delicate granddaughter. I love you both. You know, some people play this game like Eugenic Simulator, but man, in real life, I come from a family with lots of things wrong with us. Ask Vlasha to instruct me in the art of commerce. 
At the eve of the Grand Rite, we gather in an isolated glade, the great bonfire warming our backs and the air heavy with excitement. Baroness Drill instructs us through a per spectacular ceremony. The ancient prayers roll off our tongues in an enchanting pattern full of beauty and promise. Cool. Got another stewardship perk out of that. Uh... I don't really need any more stewardship stuff. I guess domestic affairs... quality. Could get more prestige. Do I need prestige for anything? Uh, I doubt that Helidur is going to be able to get a good cultural pillar with how little prestige he has. Yeah, he's, he's not the most famous of our family. I mean, do we need the domain focus anymore? No, not really. Could go back to wealth focus. Still can't focus on magic. Strategy focus? In our final days, focus on the military, perhaps. One of the DLCs that's coming out uh, soon is... Gosh, I guess I'll focus on stewardship. One of the DLCs that's coming out soon is... Um, is going to introduce a whole new lifestyle like, page. Like, you know, diplomacy, martial, stewardship, intrigue, learning. It's going to have travel as well. And I'm excited to see what that's about. Because it's going to have its own branches and everything. I already bought the ticket to the, uh, to the next season's ingredients, whatever I'm talking about. I might switch to strategy focus in our final days. Yeah, because we don't need... We don't need the domain focus anymore. Because we can naturally command that much territory ourselves now. Oh, they want us to hold court. Here, here! All gather for the great King Howarder! My lord, my steward, Viscount Astafium, speaks up. I propose a cadastral, a, a cadastral survey of all the counties you own. Improved knowledge and mapping of your land will increase its prosperity. 170 gold? Yeah, okay. My king, the dogs of Breville think they're better than us, he spits, cracking their haughty jokes at the market each day. Imperials. Mayor Zeram, the obnoxious fog poodle. Fop doodle needs to be put in his place. Here's a ram. But review is the nicer town. Red Bridge is in Black Marsh, and these Imperial frickin... Uh, what's the name for someone who lives in a municipality and thinks they have power? Frickin... Patricians, there we go. These frickin' Imperial pat Patricians over here in their long-standing uh, frickin' bureaucratic traditions... And our swamp merchants come in, they're like, Hey buddy, wanna buy some of our, our stuff? And they're like, oh, 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 Look at this swamp savage, won't even wear clothes. I bet they don't even have a clothes maker in your village, do they? So that's why I'm showing preference for Redbridge. Recent war took a toll on the countryside and we're not sure who the culprit was. But they looted a cultural site of the Naga from Murkwater. Please, we beseech you, repair it. Okay. 
my business here is done. Although we're, uh, we have less money now. So, let's go pillage. Oh, let's go pill pillage the tribunal. Hell yeah. Hmm. I don't know, they might have enough standing to do something about it. But, uh, these guys are at war. House Enduro is at war. Do I, maybe I, maybe I pillage House Enduro? Or maybe I changed my mind about pillaging these guys. How's Shadowfen looking? We declare what we can. We can declare war. We can take another chunk out of Shadowfen. Lille of Sul. Pretty sure that's one of our ancestral claims. And they are severely in debt. Severely. Okay. Yeah. Move this flag over here. Yo, Mr. Soul, we're coming on over. We got the, the pillage bodyguard. I mean, the siege bodyguard. There we go. We're not pillaging right now. Hurry up. You guys are so bad at besieging things. Look at this. Oh no, wither! A crimson stain so stark against the pale cloth. I stare at it in disbelief, suppressing another cough. Did, did I? Did I? I wipe my fingers against my lips, my hand trembling as I pull it back. I can feel warm wetness, but I dread to look. I am afraid you have contracted wither, my lord. I will treat you immediately. I am willing uh, to do, do no more than what is necessary. A little brighter. Reduced disease symptoms, but I'm still on the verge of death. We have a... We have a wizard in the court. What kind of magic do you have? Darn it. What kind of magic do you have? He's a frickin' master alterationist. I'll appoint you as my wizard, but... You can't help me. Oh wait, wrong person. Dude. Conjure some gold for me, baby. Hell yeah. Aw, oh, he's not very good at it. Haha, <laughs> you can only conjure 20. Okay. Well, here we go. I'm gonna die doing what we love. War. Where am I? I can't I can't even command the battle. As King Helena, I can I can still fight. Oh, there I am. I can fight! <laughs> Get it out of that castle! <laughs> or I swear! <laughs> the cadastre is complete. Development increases by 35 in every held county, and I currently hold 5, so. <clears throat> We're here to besiege you! by bug repellent candles. No, we're at war right now. Um, I think I know how to make bug repellent candles. I died. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't handle... <laughs> he just couldn't handle that one... It's the straw that broke the candles back, alright? He's got... 
He's got some kind of lung infection right now that's making him cough up blood. He tries to make homemade candles, and he dies. He died of homemade candle. <clears throat> Let's see, what did we get for our death? Died of heart failure. A conscientious man, he was renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and a ruler. Queen Tekog ascends to the throne. Having mastered many skills, she is sure to be admired by her subjects. Okay, cool. Our army is not looking too severe. We've got three territories. Did not get to keep Breville, unfortunately. Who's, uh, who's ruling Breville? My sister. Alright. Well, let's focus on stewardship for right now. Get domain focus, see if that'll help me. Stewardship not high enough. Even with the domain focus. <clears throat> oh, yo, but we have a fully maxed out gallantry tree. We are a, a noble girl. Better military thresholds for factions. But We're gonna have to get rid of Rock Guard or something. Imperial cult? Excuse me? Shadow of Fame Twilight. Once again, there are whispers about the tales and deeds of my parent. Exalted among men, King Heliter. Everywhere I go, near and far, it seems nobody who is not uh, nobody has not heard his name. One day I'll be as famous as you, Heliter. Yo, but we need a siege expert over here. Get the siege bodyguard in there. How's our council looking bad? Domestic affairs, level 26. Tax gathering, level 19. Where's actually... Let's put some... Uh, put some... I'll colonize freaking Breville with... Agree fight and I don't know. Nibbanese, Nibbanu. We're kind of fine with the Nibbanese and Nibbanu though, is the thing. Well the Nibbanu are practically a majority in our realm, so I'm gonna go ahead and colonize Breville with Kathringi, because the development boost will help us. And... You can be our spy master, even though you don't like us very much. Why don't you like us? Because I'm a witch. Because I'm not legitimate enough. And because you want certain territories. Well, that last one isn't going to happen, but I will fix the rest. I promise. Feline Hunter, I think I found the reason some days are more rat-free than others. My Chancellor happily declares as she moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat. I'd love a pet cat. I am judged harshly for my hospitality towards Realist the Criminal. He's my tutor and my doctor. I guess he does follow the traditions of the Tribunal Temple, which are our enemies. They have forced my hand, and I must now decide whether my court physician's crimes outweigh my affections for him. Surely something must be done. If I kicked him out, I would get more court grandeur, but I would rather keep him. He's real good at his job. So I'm making him convert. Got an artifact? Where? Oh, I thought you said I had one more artifact, but I don't see where I can put that up. Oh well. 
I also have something in my inventory. Oh, I have Queen Shadisa's hair. Uh, I have a lot of kids. It's gonna be a problem. Someday. Anyone have good traits here? Why does this one have consecrated blood? What? Huh? Oh. How'd this guy get consecrated blood? How'd this guy get consecrated blood? It's not through, not through his father. Wait. No. Not through his father, I don't think. Consecrated blood through through his mother? N no. Says who? Who consecrated you? Ah, I see. Alright, yeah. I was looking for the wrong icon. This guy is a paragon, the lover of elegance. King Aradon. Alright. Educate my daughter. Who's got the best sta- oh, one of my kids is dead already. Aw. She caught the droops. My other eldest is delicate. I doubt she'll last very long. And it's congenial, so... Prince Athrax is not that good either. Ah oh boy. But he's got he's got the he's got good stewardship. I'm gonna have to keep you around. Um what do you wanna do for me? You can be my royal architect, right? No? I thought that was a stewardship thing. Seneschal? So, so that's stewardship. But where's where's the aptitude? What's what's wait, tell me the aptitude? Stewardship, yeah. Where's my kid? There he is. It's also average at being a seneschal. Name my cat. Um, slime. Oh, they want me to hold court as well. Greetings! Sitting upon my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors to the hall. The first the first court of Queen Tekug of Barassi. I don't know if she deserves a crown yet. She hasn't really done much. Oh, we're almost 50, too. Wow. My lady, I come with grave news, but a solution to fix this problem. It has become increasingly clear that the Nibbanese and Kathringi, there is no need for us to hold a, a Nibbanese Kathringi competition festival. Uh, this, uh, discontent is clear as Hu Tai Nahish and Chief Wanum News march to my throne. Uh, Hu Tai flares up. My lady, I seek the serene peasant Tula Beth as my concubine. Where's Tulabeth? Oh, while well, Wanum Neos cuts her off, I have long been in negotiating with her family. Oh, this guy's got cool scales. Dancer? I don't have time for this. I, I don't care. 
Chief Juan Omnios took <laughs> to Lebev. My vassal Duchess, through gilded eyes, remains eye contact, maintains eye contact before stepping forward to voice his petition. My liege, I seek your aid in combating the issue of bandits harassing the modest people of Stormhold. Okay. She pauses to sigh. I cannot fix the problem with the resources I have. My steward can offer assistance. And that's a little more legitimacy for us. Yo, can my husband, like, help me with stewardship specifically? Would he? No, he would not help very much with that. A mighty pen! Picking up padded swords for a sparring match with my daughter Tekug, I noticed a tattered journal on a sideboard. From the cover, it looks to contain exercises and best practices. Oh, that thing. I mostly read it for the illustrations. You can borrow it. Intriguing. But I would rather you focus on stewardship, yes. Oh boy, here goes the siege. Whoa, it jumped a bunch. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't uh, take much longer, because we have... Uh, we're, we're not making that much money anymore. Negotiate alliance with my... With my... Uh, who? My half-sister? Okay. White piece? Uh... Pet my cat instead. Yeah, I'm busy. I've got more important things to worry about. Like, I've got three territories when I'm supposed to have two. I'd really like to fix that. But I may just have to... Might just have to give one of the territories to my kid. Yeah, give him some... Give him some time to gain experience. Hey, raiders. Gonna give us some gold? Perhaps? No. Courtier between friends. My vassal through gilded eyes has honored me with a visit and brought one of her courtiers along. Well met, King Tekka, Queen Tekka. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Deathwart's Pond. It occurred to me that Maloril here might be of service in your court. He is incredibly a talented strategist. I know just the place for him. I don't I don't know just the place for him. I'm just gonna forget about him. Reflecting on Zen. As I am sitting and meditating on the finer port points of the court of Zen, I cannot help but think back to when I traveled to Telamon for my first pilgrimage. We're a pilgrim? Oh. Alright. I guess we're pilgrims. Alright, cool. I didn't even notice that siege for the last couple days here. Now, do you have anywhere that isn't a castle? I just... I need a location that I can besiege without taking several years. I just need it. Please. Oh, I never checked. Uh, do, uh what's your... Oh, yeah, you're never... You're, you'll never do magic. She'll never... It'd be a mage. Man, next run, I gotta make sure to, like, really get in that magical bloodline. You know, I gotta, gotta get some magic bloodline up in here. Early on. I have studied South Nedek. Uh, you have learned South Nedek. Thanks. How about this one? Oh, it's a castle. I don't think we're gonna be able to. It's fort level is only three. Maybe we can besiege that. Oh, what do you think you're doing over there? Hey! Whoa! Hey! They're gone. All I had to do was pick up my, my New York accent. Hey! The fuck you think you're doing? Oh, we win. 
Oh, we've got the trait that makes us uh, have 10% war victory points. I gained legitimacy. Now we have the territory of Sulbeck. Unfortunately, does not belong to Cthulhu. We have a chance for a holy site over here. Do, do, do. I think I'm going to give that to Deep Graves. When did you get... I thought I gave that ter territory to Deep Graves. Whatever. Cool. And in the future, hopefully we can build a holy site there. That would be rad. Because that uh, counts as a university. Is Shadowfen looking weak enough for my vassals to... Oh yeah, it is. So if my vassals were smart... Oh god, Elden Root is conquering territory down here! No! Or wait, did I accidentally give them that territory? Princess Tonali to Duchess Luki. Uh, she wants it, but man, look at her. She's scary. Well, for politics. Givas Rexu has been reformed. Make sure that you're giving me what I need, yes. Might have just made an organizational mistake. Oh, Alton Coromont would be a good target, but... We're currently in a situation, so... Hmm... It's gonna be a while before we can get another territory. We might just want to... give our... neighboring territory to our... most likely heir. First, though... Alliance with Crowhaven. Intelligence. What about prestige? This is the most prestigious, an elf. Again. Wish we had more Kathringi options. But yeah, the only one there is my adopted sister. Which would be weird, right? That would be weird. A four percent chance of being inbred? What are you? What are you talking about? They're not actually related. It'd be weird anyway. Who are you, giant? Decent personality. Kathringi blood. What family is she from that apparently warrants... She's from Goblin Rest? The Zukir dynasty, loyal to the Empress. House of Wanderers. 
eight living members. Wow. So it's like this wandering Kathringi house who mostly follow the hiss. That's interesting. Yeah, they're pilgrims, travelers, most of them compassionate, some of them intelligent, holy warriors. I actually kind of like that family. I like that bloodline. All right. What? Who? Who is this? What happened? Daughter of a Kathringi. And, and a high elf. Unfortunately impure. Who is this? Liberty through Ariel. Three living members, just this guy. And his purple daughter. Where's the music? Sorry, I'm just had <laughs> to take a picture of this. We would lose prestige for marrying the purple girl, but... Prestige gain, here we go. Alright, you marry the giant. Try to get some... Kathringi, try to reinforce the Kathringi in us, and... I wish I had another male child to marry to the purple one. Oh, get rid of this guy. Ah, uh, well, we need we need concubine. Oh, he's magic. Never mind. Whoa, I see why you liked him. Because he's fucking etheric. He, he's he's like practically a god among men. Dear Lord. I gladly accept your proposal. Vengeful, generous, compassionate, charming. Sorry, didn't I give territory to my kid? Right, I was planning on it. Yeah. All right, you. Uh, now that you've got your life set up, go hang out in Rockford. Also, we gotta convert Rock Guard. It's weird that it follows the Divines instead of our Pantheon. Which reminds me, we gotta increase our control over here on Sul. Alone in the kitchen. Greetings, milady. Anake, one of the cooks, says. I have your daughter, Tekug, right with me here. She promised to clean the pots in the cookery, you see. He draws in a sharp breath. And clean every pot she did. She even scrubbed the cauldron without even asking. That's a sweet girl you got here. Another compassionate daughter. I wish coronations were a thing. Like if I could go into the royal court and coronate myself or something. Okay, hang on. Ransom. Okay, sure. We need the money. And you want to be, you whoa, whoa, you'd be really, really bad at the job. This random champion is better, but nobody's gonna like that I just put some lowborn elf in charge. Is he lowborn? No, he's from the Sylvain family. 
of which he is the only guy. He's the only guy of his bloodline. How's that happen? I don't know. I haven't looked at the Tulaku family from afar. We need more people having kids. I like I like the I like the half elf kid who's, who's got a huge head. But he doesn't have that great. His, his traits aren't that great. Cathrix married Princess Drill. My heir. Did I tell you you could get married? I guess I did tell you you could get married. Fuck. I, I guess there goes my original plans. You're married to some guy with fish scales. That's not fair. He's, he's got... He's got he's he's got a disorder. So does my daughter. Let's go for centralization, as slow as it's gonna be. We get bonuses in that tree. As slow as it be. Bonus in tree. Uh, someone's got my cat? Is that some cooing I hear? And some meowing? Set in an alcove, Medora, slime cradled in her arms. Feline looks up to me, her adoringly, limbs tucked in like a baby, and smitten, Medora rocks him lovingly. I offer a greeting, but though the human responds, the cat merely purrs. Despite myself, I feel something of a ping of jealousy. Cat rejection for five years. 5% more stress. Oh, somebody's mowing the lawn now. Oh, give me my cat! <laughs> the first character to be greedy with the cat. What's going on in the middle of the swamp down here? It's been split apart for a while. I don't like it. My vassals might get ideas. Oh, what's going on with my vassals? Liberty War. Shouldn't have done the opposite of liberty. Sorry. Marry my kid. To the giant lady. All I wanna do is see you turn into a giant woman. <clears throat> Fighting against the governor of Gideon. In the war for Rock Guard. Hey. You, sir, stop. Cease. Have the utmost respect for your wishes, but the die is already cast. They never say yes. They never just say yes. Uh, you're my ally now because you're my son. Can I join your war now? Darn. Demand surrender. In the war against Bulwark? I don't really care about that one. As long as the Republic is serving me. Arcana based? It's not great. But we're getting some. Just be great if we had more, you know? We would get a little bit more even though he hates us if we switched it to opinion based contribution. Okay. Well, this old man who hates us won't be in charge forever. Am 
my rival lost a title. Oh, we're rivals with Shadowfen. What am I? What am I looking at? Do? Yeah, right. Can can I stop the vassal war from your end? Because are you attacking or defending? Well, you're attacking Gideon. All right, I don't care then. I'd really rather they didn't attack my kid though. So is Gideon going to take his territory or vassalize him? Oh hey, activity. Okay, can I make it? Yo. Nice. Get us a jungle guy. Or do I want a forder? There we go. Bring us a forder guy. I can't wait. First grand right since, uh, since dear old dad died. All his freakish adoptees here gathering for our great grand right. Reminds me of my childhood. Ugh. The entire family clan gathering around the bonfire in the middle of the woods. Half the population on the spectrum. The other half suffering from psychological disorders. Or, that's my family. <laughs> We're all like this. Anyway. My travels to Gideon, or region be blending Aelid, Imperial, Cathringi, and Argonian cultures. I met Juka, who was glad to tell me more about it. Well, this region is a cosmopo has a cosmopolitan tradition. It is entirely inhaled. We've already seen all this before. Let's get a little extra stewardship XP from it. On Te uh, Tekog's visit. Curses, we got sm mud in our wheels. We're gonna be late. And we just barely made it in time. Art of Commerce instruction. At the end of the eve of the Grand Rite, we gather in an isolated glade. The great bonfire is warming our backs, and the air is heavy with excitement. Together we have worshipped. That was it. Nothing fun happened this time, but we did get a perk from it. Which is why we like the Grand Rites. So now we've gotten centralization already. Deathwart's Pond is going to slowly climb in development until it gets a disease one disease demand hostage to be frank if king eridon asks me for a hostage with like 300 more years on his lifespan i don't know if I should say no. Okay. Well, bye, Tekug. First time. First time this has happened to our family. Let's check out her journey. She's gonna go down through the swamp into the borders of Leowin, visit Leowin, cross into elsewhere, go through the canyons, across the deserts, down into the jungles of Valenwood. <laughs> oh my god. And she's how old? Ten? Ten years old. And you're gonna have her make that journey. Well. Oh well. Bye. 
Um, um, mom, mommy loves you. Have fun at school. And there we are. Uh, finally home. Thank Zen. I can go inside again. Wish I could say that for my daughter, who is not even halfway there. Nobody wants to kill him. Nobody wants to kill Mr. Mr. Valenwood. Sorry, is he an empire? He's an empire. He's got an imperial title. Oh boy. That means it's it's too late. He's gonna Even if he dies, this this layout is going to remain. Viscount Astafium is stronger than you. Oh. Huh? What do you mean he's stronger than me? Whoa! What, what happened to our army? Whoa! Holy shit. What? What? What happened to our... What happened to our army? Why are we losing money? Oh man. We're in a tough spot. Drifting apart, my friend the Argonian. Queen Tekug, my friend, smiles sladly, sladly. I feel there is no friendship left between us. But remember the good times? Fair in Sarelian Sword. There is an annual fair to be held in the city of Sarelian's Sword. Two local nobles, Governor Letrius and Maris Amadibe, Petition for the receiver of the charter that would allow them to build the fair in my name. Uh, well, governor is more important. So, so who, who wants what? Um, governor gains 20 opinion of me, if it goes well. Slime thunk! I reach out to give his orange. Oh, my cat is orange. I am at my table reading through some reports that sent to me throughout my realm. Slime hops up beside me, chasing the warmth of a sunbeam, and curls up contentedly beside my work. I give him, reach out to give his orange for a stroke, and he stretches languorously in response. A mighty stretch. Too mighty, as it turns out. He rolls over and completely off the table. Haha, ha, we got a dumb cat. Oh, hey, another grand right. Can we make it? Oh, we have to leave within 15 days to get there. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's go. The local hero. As we traverse the wilderness, trudging through the dirt, we encounter a modest way shrine. It uh, sports a seal of the divines. Here lays Saint Shadis of Gideon. Yo, best daughter of Rockguard. Nice. Saint Shadis has a nice ring to it. Baron Cerulean's sword. Cerulean's sword. Governor, Governor Eletrius uh, presents me with wares from all over the world. Religious objects from holy cities, food and grown by the monks and nuns in the area, marvels from foreign religions. Bring me as much food as possible. Another alliance expired. My lady, what are we supposed to do with all this food? Apparently the meals are prepared by the monks and nuns of the area would have benefited from some divine intervention. Almost nothing got sold. Oh. I'll eat it. 
Another stewardship perk from our grand rights. Taxes. Defensive measures. We are almost up to popular figurehead. Already. Just from the grand rights and stuff. You. Mr. Gideon. You hate us now. Mr. Gideon hates us. What are we gonna do? Our borders are looking pretty good, though. Look at us. Look at us with our borders. We might have to pillage somebody. Whoa! House Indrill got real huge! I don't know what happened to my army. It's real small now, and we don't have enough money to afford upgrading it. Not my best... Not my best run so far, but maybe we can fix it. We'll see. Bye-bye.